everyone how are you how are you how are you marketing book coach here latanya boy where i help you rock your book your brand on a global scale mm -hmm. that will grow your business so i'm super excited i hope you all had a fantabulous kind of day today and i'm just jumping on rather quickly because i want to share some tips that and uh, that i use that has really benefited me in growing my platform uh, giving my brand a voice and just expanding and maximizing my reach reach to impact others. Okay, so I'm super excited. So come on in the room. Hey, come on in the room. Go ahead and share it out with your community. You know I won't be mad. My brand ambassadors, brand influencers, come on in the room. Share it out with your community. We're going to get into some of the meat and the potatoes uh, shortly. Hey, Tawana, how are you, my sister? Good to see you. Thank you so much for joining in tonight. We're going to have some fun on tonight and sharing some great tools and tips that's going to help building your brand uh, image and your brand voice globally. So I'm super excited. Go ahead and share it with your community. I won't be mad. You are a brand ambassador, brand influencer. So I'm excited. So thank you. We're going to give a few more minutes for other people to come on in the room. I'm going to go ahead and share this on my other platforms. Thank you so much for the thumbs up. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Let me share this out with my other community so they'll be able to get some of the secret sauce and some of the nuggets I'm going to be sharing on tonight, tonight. You know, I love to sing. I don't know. It just comes to me. Not that I uh, can sing, but I love to sing, right? I just love to sing. And that's the way God has me programmed. And he knew why he didn't give me that gift of singing. Hmm. He knew why he didn't give me that gift. Uh, of singing. So I'm excited. Thank you so much. Tawana went, hot, went, went on ahead and shared it. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Thank you so much. Rebecca, thank you so much for liking my video. I appreciate you. Thank you. Come on in the room. I can share it with my community now because Facebook allows you to do that. As you're broadcasting live, you can invite your studio audience to participate. Is that not awesome? I love that. So I can invite people to come on in the room, let them know that I am live. I'm going to be sharing some nuggets and secret sauce for them to grow their platform, to rock their book, their brand. Uh, I talk about giving your brand a voice. Does your brand have a voice on social media? And how are you conveying that? Are you being consistent in doing that? Are you engaging in bringing about your brand voice. So I share tips and tools. Listen, log on to my website of latboy.com. There, uh, definitely subscribe. You can also check out my blog where I give out some great tools and tips. And I also uh, share the platform with some outstanding authors whose stories are told through the power of the pen. So go ahead and check some of those authors out there. Leave a comment, share it out. Uh, if anything there has resonated with you, I would love to get your feedback. Ax, ax, bleh, absolutely, Tony, you want to be consistent in bringing about your brand voice, sharing your brand voice out there. And that's how it's going to maximize out there. Hey, Nisi Tamika Hall is in the house. Woo -woo. From Tamika Inc. is in the house. So thank you so much for joining. Um, so you definitely want to be consistent. Now, one of the keys of biz lesson learned was to be consistent on social media. The other thing, and this is secret sauce you're getting right now, is to be engaging. It's very important to be engaging on social media. Again, you're building relationships, and that's what I'm all about. Building relationships, you're growing your platform, right? And then you never know, it'll lead to leads that leads to what? Conversions, and we talk about that quite often, right? So I shared this out, awesome sauce. So thank you so much, guys. Hey, Nisi, so good to see you. Uh, yes, Lord, be engaging. Yes, you want to be engaging. That's how you never know what will happen if you're being engaging. You know, I'm getting speaking engagements. I'm going to conferences. Uh, I'm teaching 
now you know so you, you never know so that's why it's important to be engaging especially you know, we talked about this right Tawana? being consistent when people keep seeing you out there like oh this person is consistent I'm, I'm digging their brand their brand message their brand knowledge brand awareness and these are the things that y'all get the secret sauce right here i just dropped some knowledge on you right then and there dr alice Millsap. Woo -woo! thank you so much for joining me awesome video today your facebook live was awesome so thank you so much for the thumbs up i appreciate you thank you so much for the hearts boom 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 i appreciate all of you if this is your first time here let me introduce myself i am your marketing book coach Tanya boyd where i help you rock your biz your brand your book on a global scale that will grow your business and build relationships in the process so let's get into the meat and the potatoes for tonight's discussion. I love you too, Dr. Alice Millsap. Arthur Andrea's in the house. Woo -woo. My sister Vic is in the house. Woo -woo. Thank you so much, guys, for, for coming into the room. Go ahead and share it out. This is You guys are live. You're my, part of my studio audience. So go ahead and share it out on your platform where you think someone will benefit from this here broadcast. Our topic for a discussion on tonight, I'm going to be sharing, and you know you're going to get some secret sauce and some bonuses out there. I've already dropped some bonuses already, right? Three tips on social media billboard covers, right? How often should you be changing that out? How often are you, are you keeping it? fresh i talk about having social media being fresh being consistent on there right and being relevant how often are you changing have you looked at your billboard lately do you need to do swap it out change it i'm always changing if you ever knows i know you guys are following but you ever knows i change my billboard i change it on all social media it could be on my twitter page i'm changing it out swapping it out for something new right it could be where your google plus page wherever you are pinterest wherever you are on social media how often do you change or you swap it out or switch it up kind of thing because you want to keep it fresh you want to keep it relevant so i'm going to be sharing tonight how to do that if you if you don't have uh, i have a graphic designer tamika hall of tamika inc woo, woo. go ahead and log on to her website it's tamikahall.com tamikahall.com and she's my graphic designer so she helped me a lot um when it comes to graphics and keeping my uh, social media fresh and actually you know not too long ago she said mm -mm, we need to you you know you your your platform is growing and you're doing different things and you have some fresh headshots let's swap out let's change your billboards out there let's go ahead and do that and so she did and so that's what i'm saying when you work with someone who can see what you're doing especially your graphic designer that they're noticing they're picking up what you're putting down and then noticing that you're really expanding your reach and maximizing you definitely want to take that into consideration and, and change things and you know if you have a new look <clears throat> If you have a fresh look, you want to keep it fresh, you want to keep it relevant, right? So you want to make some changes in there. Um, and she's also designed, you know, my, here are my postcards. So she's put together my postcards. Some things have changed. She's I got to upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. So sometimes we need an upgrade, we need a change. There's nothing wrong with change. Change is good. And sometimes we become complacent. I shared with you guys how my account was hacked not too long ago. Last year, so I had to start uh, all over again from scratch. And what I, I was a little upset in the beginning, but I, I now I'm so excited about it. But it gave me a whole fresh, a whole new world. I tell you, these songs just come to me, and they they just come to me, and I just gotta sing, okay? And so uh, a whole new look that I have now, right? Because I've changed them. Even on your website, sometimes we forget, you know, check out your website. If there are any changes on your website that you, you need to make. I have a whole fresh website, latboy.com. You get a moment, go ahead and check that out, latboy.com. Check out my website. And sometimes we just need to do an upgrade. Check out your bio. This is secret sauce I'm giving you guys right now. Check out your bio on any of your social media platforms, whether it's uh, Twitter, um, Instagram, if it's Facebook, Pinterest, wherever you are, and see if you need to make some changes, tweak some things there, you know, your bio. See if you need to make some changes there and do an upgrade. Again, you want to make sure everything is relevant, everything is fresh. Also important, kind of check out your links. Sometimes I have to go back and check all of my social media links and make sure they are connecting, right? 
that they are active and relevant to where I am today. And sometimes we have to do that. So let's just take a note. That was secret sauce right there. That was a bonus. Bonus. So check them out. So let's go ahead and, and talk about changing your billboard or updating uh, your social media platforms, right? And why is it so important to do that? Because you want to stay relevant, right? We talk about brand awareness, brand knowledge. We want to make sure that we're relevant to the times. And speaking of times, I might be jumping ahead of myself, you know, tie in those billboards. You can tie them into seasons. Listen, we're into fall season. You could tie that into the fall season. Um, if your book surrounds, I'm talking to the authors, if your book is surrounding a uh, season of fall, why not have that as one of your billboards, right? To have that uh, accent. This will tie some seasons into your billboards. Uh, I hope I'm not missing any comments. Here's uh, Arthur Vic says, yep, you caught my link wasn't link. Oh, no, we didn't have to tell everybody that. That was between us. That was between us. Uh, yes. So you just want to go back and make sure that you check, make sure your links are operable and they're active and they're relevant, right? To what's going on with you. Check out your bio. Make sure that's relevant and what you're doing in times. Um, so go ahead and do that across the board. Uh, your, your, what is it? All your social media sites. If it's Pinterest, if it's LinkedIn, LinkedIn is very important. Hello, somebody. Check out your LinkedIn page. Uh, check out what the Instagram page. Check out. Here's a secret sauce for your Instagram page because that's my running theme and focus for this week is hashtags. Um, the platform of Instagram and how often. So you kind of check out some of my postings out there right now. Matter of fact, if you log on to my website of latboy.com, go to the blog page and you do a search for blogs. I mean, for hashtags, do a search for, for that in there. That way it'll pull up the um, blog posting that I did for in regards to hashtag. And so that's the theme for this week on hashtags, building your, your platforms, your social media platforms. Uh, do we need to do an, uh, an upgrade? You know, sometimes our houses just need a fresh coat of paint. Do you need a fresh coat of paint? on your social media sites. And so go ahead and do that. Swap out the photos if you need to. Uh, I'll just pause right there and put a pen in it as my granddaughter would say, boop, put a pen in it right there. If you need to switch out your photos, your headshots, listen, we want to make sure it's tight and right, right? So we don't want the shower curtains. We don't want the rubber ducky uh, type of thing in the back, the toilet paper. We don't want that. Want, want. We're professionals now. We are professionals. So we want to make sure that we have professional pictures out there and I kind of stress on that and I even have a blog posting on that because people do eat with their eyes what does your brand image say about you hello somebody what does your brand image say about you so that too hey Arthur Stacy's in the house woo, woo. thank you so much for watching Hello, I love that blue on you. You look fabulous. So thank you so much for, for coming into the room. Go ahead and share it out uh, with your community. I won't be mad. Go ahead and do that. So welcome. So today we're talking about three tips on social media billboards, your covers, what we can do to keep it fresh, right? If we need a fresh coat of paint, if we need to swap out some things, tie it into the seasons, uh, we can do that. Uh, we talk about fall is in. If you have a book you've written and it talks about fall, something about fall season in there, the harvest, anything like that, go ahead and, and update your billboard. Talk about that. Y'all getting this a secret sauce right here. Listen, tie your book into the season hello somebody not just your billboard but you can use uh, little things from your book that ties in your book to the season we talked about that i didn't you know if you log onto the website you can go to my youtube channel i share a lot of tips and tools on there and go ahead and subscribe i won't be mad subscribe to my youtube channel latboy.com hit the youtube icon and it'll take you right there right all right so it's important for us to uh freshen or refresh our Facebook billboards. Another platform, I told you I have a graphic designer, Tamika Inc. of Tamika Hall. Um, she helps me a lot. I need you separate my pages. I have also fight and books on page. Shake my head. Okay, I'm not sure I understand that. Uh, I need you separate my pages. Okay, you want to separate your personal page from your author's page? Need me, I'm sorry, need me, need me separate my pages. 
Okay. Uh, you want to separate your personal page from your author's page? I advise my clients to kind of switch up. Separate the two? Yes. Okay, you need to separate the two. I recommend that, and this is what I coach my clients, is to separate the two, your personal from your business page because you're the business you as an author you're a business okay so yes i would definitely recommend that i have also fight and books on pages fight and books on pages not sure i understand i think i should and hire you absolutely i will welcome you to hire me i would be more than happy to help you log on to the website latboy.com and i'll be more than happy to assist you in that regard uh miss jefferson is in the house. Woo, woo. Thank you, Miss Jefferson, for tuning in. If this is your first time, I want to welcome you. I am your marketing book coach, Latanya Boyd, where I help you rock your book, your business, your brand on a global scale that would uh, grow your business and build relationships in the process. ALS. Yes, you talked about that today, and I'm going to share it on my wall right after this. I'm going to share it on my wall. ALS disease fight. Okay, we're going to talk about that and how you can maximize your reach in your message that you're trying to convey. So author Stacy, definitely uh, get in contact with me and we can discuss that. I can help you in building your platform in that way. And listen guys, if anyone else needs a coach to help you, how can I maximize my platform, whether it's for your business, whether it's for you as an author, by all means, I do coaching sessions. Get in contact with me. I'd be more than happy to serve you. Author Nikki's in the house. Woo woo. I'd be more than happy to serve you and help you in that regard. Listen, I'm going to be doing a teaching on how to really build your platform uh, and your brand on Amazon.com. Hello, somebody. There's a way to do that, and I'm going to show you how. So... Make sure you subscribe to my mailing list on latboy.com. And as soon as the class and everything begins, you will get an email and let you know when it will begin. Okay, so we're back to our topic for tonight. Good questions. Good questions on tonight. Some of that secret sauce. Woo -woo. Okay, so why the timeline cover matters, right? It does matter. Photos that are shared on business pages generate interest hello somebody it generates interest see this back to what you're saying author stacy from your personal to your business that's right okay so there's about 53 percent more interest than a standard text based post okay you're you're you getting let me just say that slowly so i'm looking at my notes let me say that slowly what really resonates with people in the news feed are photos because people are eating with their eyes. And so that's what resonates. So I've even done, and I do pilot things before I even talk about it to kind of get a test or a gauge. So when I share this information, I have some statistics for you guys. So for the past two weeks, I've been, put, well, I've been doing this for a long time, but I would show, put out uh, photos, graphics out there and see the response. I would do text out there and watch the response, pending on the platform, right? So I've been doing that on here on Facebook. You know, Instagram is all about the pictures anyway. And Twitter. I've been doing it on all the, these three platforms and see what kind of responses I'm getting uh, versus, you know, the, the graphics versus the text. And so I'm sharing here tonight 53% more interest than a standard text-based post to be exact, right? To generate interest on your business pages. Okay, so taking to the next level, taking this information to the next level and sharing it out with you, right? And so people are eating with their eyes when it comes to graphic arts. That's why I say switch out those photos. Um, when you're sharing information, put out photos. You guys have been seeing my graphic arts out there that I'm putting out photos. What's it, what's it Today I shared out about hashtags. I talked about uh, building your your platform, your author's platform. I talked about that. I even shared some videos out there. That information is so important and so key, and it's very effective, right? And so, back to the question. How often should it be changed? Your billboard, uh, billboard uh, covers, how often should it be changed? So, this is how often it should be changed. I change mine maybe two to three times a month. Two to three times a month, I change mine. And every time I 
change it. Either someone who's, who's new to my page, you know, you we're always getting new followers, right? Uh, new people into your community. And so it's fresh to them. It's new. Like, ooh, wow. And so they'll respond to it. So I change mine quite often. And so if, you, if you're on a shoestring budget and you really don't have the funds to have like a, a graphic artist like I do, uh, you can use the platform of Canva.com. Canva.com will, uh, you can build your Facebook and do graphic arts on those particular platforms. Um, and they come out, they're beautiful when you do that, right? And it's user friendly. This platform is user friendly. So it's Canva.com. Canva. Someone type that up in the feed for me. Canva.com. And so you'll be able to build, uh, you'll be able to do graphic arts or your billboards, um, even in your postings, if you want to do postings, if you've seen some of the graphic arts that I've used. Again, you want to convey your brand message and your brand image. Um, some of mine have my, my spell it, C-A-N-V-A dot com. C-A-N-V-A dot com. Someone type that in the feed for me. Uh, C-A-N-V-A dot com. Yes, author Nikki. Woo, woo, thank you so much. So that's an awesome platform to create images for yourself, right? And you can do your billboard. You can do for Twitter, I believe. And you can do Facebook postings. So there's different things you can do on that platform. So that's Canva dot com. It's very good. Okay, so that's one thing. So I do my three times, maybe three times a month, I would switch out my billboard, I would switch out my headshot. Um, every now and again, I would go ahead and do that again. We're keeping it fresh, your brand image fresh. We're keeping it relevant uh, to the times, right? And you can tie into the seasons, tie it into the seasons. This keeps your brand appearance updated without overwhelming your followers. Hello, somebody. So this, your, this keeps your brand uh, appearance updated without overwhelming your followers, okay? And ways to make the most Facebook timeline covers. Here's some, some nuggets for you. Highlight special offers. This is awesome sauce. Not too long ago, I did a hashtag rock your book celebration. Give back celebration. And so I created a Facebook billboard to indicate that. Right? And you share the link. You, you share... Uh, your social media links, your touch points. I call them touch points. Where people can find you. If it's on Twitter, if it's your, your website, you want to make sure you include that in your billboard. You want to make sure you include that in your billboard, okay? So you want to kind of leave some breadcrumbs, if you will, for people to connect with you. So even if you're doing a posting for uh, Facebook, just a posting, not necessarily a billboard, just a posting, you do a graphic arts, put your touch points in there. I put my website on there. I put my, my name, what I do. Uh, and I also put my Twitter handle, at latboyd.com. And it's also my Instagram handle, at latboyd. Not L at LAT boy, the number one at LAT boy, the number one. Okay, so you want to highlight special offers that you can use your billboard. Hello, somebody. So let's say we're in the fall season, right? I told you I did the hashtag rock your book give back celebration. I did, and I created a whole event surrounding it, did some give back. Uh, there and it was it's just it was just awesome okay it was just awesome had a whole Facebook live event uh, virtual event it was awesome uh, Dr. Alice says I need you to take care of this for me lol invoice me okay no problem Dr. Millsap I will invoice you I will take care of it for you <laughs> I will take care of you yes absolutely and so you want to highlight special events right so let's say you're having a a a book signing somewhere. You can have a graphic art billboard uh, created, you know, it's temporary, but you just have it created up until the day of the event, right? And then after that, you switch it out. So you want to, oh, author Nikki says she had fun at the hashtag rocket book giveaway, virtual giveaway. So it was, it was fun. We had a good time. And so you want to do that. Highlight special offers. If you're running a, a special on your books, that's a great way. If you're offering special, I don't know, uh, if you're coaching sessions and you want to offer a special, that's a great way to do that. Use the billboard. I say it's a billboard because people are doing virtual drive-bys, right? They're doing virtual drive-bys. They're putting their mouse over your name and what pops up? Your billboard pops up. 
And so they'll see that. Hello, somebody. Free advertisement right there. They see that. Uh, Miss Rogers is in the house. Great information I can use with my business. Thanks for sharing. Absolutely. My pleasure. Well, thank you so much for, for joining us on today of Hashtag Rock Your Book. Um, so, yes, so that's free publicity. That's why I call it a billboard, because people are doing virtual drive-bys, right? So highlight special events that you're having. Listen, if you have a book release, hello, somebody. If you're having an upcoming book release, why not use your billboard? Because, I told you earlier, right, people eat with their eyes, and that's what's, that's what's coming up in the news feed, is the graphics, that's what comes up in the news feed quicker than text. So again, even if you comment on someone's posting and they put their mouse or whatever the case may be over your name, hello somebody, that's your free billboard right there. You're advertising like, ooh, what? Latanya's having a hashtag rock your book conference. Yes, and then they'll click on my name and bring them right there. Hello somebody. Y'all picking up what I'm putting down? Put in one. If you're picking up what I'm putting down, just type in the number one. So that's a great way. So that's one thing, right? That was one of the bonus tips. Highlight special events, right? Number two, provide education. Sometimes fans and followers might not have time to check your page, hello, uh, for long, but detailed status updates or news alerts. Use your billboard. News alerts. Y'all picking up what I'm putting down? O to the M to the G. News alerts. Use your billboard to convey that. Uh, I was starting to talk about your, your book release, upcoming book release. Put that out there. Coming soon. Rock your book. Actually, rock your book is now available on Amazon.com. I share 10 tips on how to rock your book like a superstar, mm -hmm, like a rock star. It is available right now on Amazon.com. Right, so you can go there and purchase the book. That was a cheap plug, but you know what? You take every opportunity that you can to put that in there that you know is going to benefit and grow your platform. Thank you so much for the thumbs up. I appreciate that. I see the number ones out there. So provide education. That's a good way to use your billboard, right? The other thing is, I talked about this already, so I got ahead of myself. The other thing was holidays. Tie your, your, your billboard into different seasons of the year holidays, you know, changes even fall seasons. I know we talk about our brand colors. Uh, you know, it's good. You're going to have a banner that you standard banner that you're going to use for with your band, brand colors. But if you tie it into different season with the fall colors, leaves, the browns, the oranges, that type of thing, tie that in to what is going on right now. So that's relevant. Hello, somebody that's relevant. All right, so I've given you guys a lot of secret sauce here today for hashtag rock your book and your brand, right? And your business, right? So we talked about everything. I'm just going to do a quick recap. If you have a question for me, go ahead and type into the feed. Uh, if you need a marketing coach, uh, a business coach, go ahead and log on to the website of latboy.com, latboy.com. I would definitely welcome the opportunity to chat with you and to serve you. Okay, so here's what we're going to do a little recap. When people do their virtual drive-by and they put their mouse over your name, what pops up? Your name, your title, if there's a title, and your billboard, right? It tells you how many people are following you, all that other good stuff, but it's the billboard that's going to pop out and resonate with people because that's what because that's what we gravitate because people do eat with their eyes. And so they're going to gravitate to the billboard, right? So your timeline, change it on every platform. Some of the bonus and secret sauce I talked about is check those different platforms that you're on. Make sure the links are operable. Make sure you're able to click them and they'll take you there. What's a billboard? Your Facebook billboard. I call it a billboard because people are doing a virtual drive-by. So if you run your mouse over my name, you'll see behind my headshot, the avatar, it's called the avatar, behind me, you'll see my billboard. That's your billboard. Like you see behind me right now, that's my billboard, right? It has my brand. Can you see it? That's my billboard. I'm in the studio, but that's my billboard. So it's also on my social media platform. Certain platforms is there. You find it. So I call it a billboard, 
because when people do a virtual drive-by, that's what they see. It, it It's a great way to give your message. It's like you're on the highway, but this is a virtual highway. Just like you're on the highway and you're driving and you see a billboard of an advertisement for McDonald's. Exactly. So now all of a sudden you, you weren't hungry, but now that I see McDonald's, I'm hungry. I want some of them golden fries. So same premise because we eat with the eyes if you ever notice in the supermarket right certain supermarkets when you walk in the door all of a sudden they got all the snacks in the front of the supermarket never go to the supermarket hungry let me just give you that never go to the supermarket hungry they have all the snacks the chips the cookies all that good stuff right there the cakes all that right there why because they know they're going to get you soon as you walk in the door y'all picking up what i'm putting down soon as you get in the door they get you right there like oh that's not what I came in here. I came in here for milk and a loaf of bread. <clears throat> but now that I see these cookies, now I want the cookies. Mm-hmm. I digress. Huh. <sighs> okay. Let me drink my seltzer water now. Give our website again. Okay, my website is latboyd.com. Latboyd.com is my website. Go there. Uh, okay, anyone else have a question for me? Okay, so we're recapping. So, three ways to really um, build your author's platform uh, with your billboard, right? First one was highlight special offers. Second one was pro uh, provide education if there's any educational things that you're doing. Um, and then the third one was play uh, up to holidays, tied into holidays and the seasons uh, that is going on out there. I want to thank all of you. I want to be mindful of your time. I want to thank all of you for coming into the studio of Hashtag Rock Your Book. I am your marketing book coach uh, here, Latanya Boy, where I help you rock your business, your brand, and your book on a global scale that will grow your business and build relationships in the process. Until next time, I want to see you rock your book. Until next time, guys, have a great night. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you.